Paul Galata, Senior Technology Specialist at Mauser Electronics. I'm here today to demonstrate Murata's Micro SD M.2 Adapter Kit Wireless Solution for NXP i.mx eval platforms. Murata is a worldwide leader in the design and manufacture of ceramic passive electronic components, wireless connectivity modules, and power conversion technologies. Murata's Micro SD M.2 adapter kit allows customized Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for NXP's i.mx platforms. NXP Semiconductors enable secure connections and infrastructure for a smarter world, advancing solutions that make lives easier, better, and safer. As the world leader in secure connectivity solutions for embedded applications, NXP is driving innovation in the secure connected vehicle, end-to-end -end security and privacy, and smart connected solutions markets. NXP's i.mx application processors are based on 32-bit and 64-bit ARM technology. i.mx provides solutions for multimedia and display applications with high performance and low power capabilities that are scalable, safe, and secure. Murata's Micro SD M.2 adapter kit specifically is targeted at working with NXP's i.mx RT and i.mx 6 families. NXP's i.mx RT series is built upon ARM Cortex M7 providing crossover MCUs with real-time functionality and MCU usability for next generation consumer and industrial IoT applications. NXP's i.mx 6 series is built upon Cortex A9, Cortex A9 Plus, Cortex M4, or Cortex A7, providing general purpose solutions with balanced features, performance, and scalability for automotive, consumer, and industrial applications. The Murata Micro SD M.2 adapter connects to the Micro SD slot on the NXP i.mx platforms, which provides power and WLAN SDIO. The Murata adapter provides an M.2 connector allowing application developers to connect the embedded artist types 1DX, 1MW, and 1LV M.2 EVBs which provide IEEE 802.11 A, B, G, N, AC, and BT, BLE connectivity. More compatible Wi-Fi Bluetooth M.2 evaluation boards are on the roadmap based on both NXP and Cypress Silicon. This video will walk you through the required resources and software needed to run one of the many demo examples available. Now let's get it set up and run a demo. To connect the hardware, do the following steps. Connect nylon screws and standoffs to the Murata Micro SD M.2 adapter. Carefully plug in the Embedded Artist Type 1LV M.2 evaluation board into the adapter and secure with a screw. Follow Section 2 Hardware Setup for NXP EVKs with Micro SD M.2 adapter in the Murata Quick Start Guide Free RTOS to ensure jumper is correctly positioned. Slide the Micro SD M.2 adapter into the i.mx RT10XX board until it clicks into place, pushing in all the way again to release. Once secure, Plug the micro USB cable provided into the i.mx RT board with the other end connected to the PC. Let's start by looking at the resources available and the software you'll need to download and perform the demo discussed in this video. Navigate to mauser.com New Murata Murata USD M2 Adapter Kit. Select View Datasheet along the right-hand side of the web page. This is the datasheet for the Micro SD M.2 adapter that can provide useful information regarding the device. Scroll down the guide until you locate the section for the Quick Start Guide. For this video and the hardware used, we will be utilizing free RTOS. Click on the free RTOS link to be taken to the specific section within the guide. Click the Here link under the Quick Start Guide section to be taken to the appropriate wireless landing page. Scroll down the web page until you locate the free RTOS 
Base Solution and locate and click Morata Quick Start Guide Free RTOS 1.0. Locate the section within the documentation for the software setup for NXP EVKs. This section will outline the required software for this demonstration. MCU Expresso IDE, Embed Virtual COM Port Driver, a terminal application such as TerraTerm. Click here to navigate to NXP's Getting Started with the MIMXRT1050 EVK. Scroll down and click the Get MCU Expresso IDE under Section 2.2 Install Your Toolchain. Select Download. You will be asked to log in with your NXP credentials at this time, so you need to have an active NXP account to download the MCU Expresso IDE. Select MCU Expresso IDE. Select the version appropriate to your OS. Navigate back to the software page and select Download Driver under Section 2.3 PC Configuration. You'll find just below the driver download links to TerraTerm or PuTTY for a terminal interface. If you do not already have one available, you can use one of these two links to download and install. For this video, we will be using TerraTerm. Software installation is relatively straightforward with only two or three pieces required. Locate the downloaded installer for the MCU Expresso i.e and double-click the file. Follow all on-screen instructions for the installation. Next, click the installation file for the embed driver. Note, you will receive an error if the development board is not connected to the PC using the micro USB connector as shown. Click install and wait for the installation to complete. Click finish once finalized. With all the software installed, we need next to configure and build the SDK needed to run the demonstration. From the Murata Quick Start Guide, scroll down to find the SDK setup for MCU Expresso. Click the URL link provided to take you to the SDK Build NXP page. Click the Select Development Board icon at the top of the page, and then you will be asked to log in with your NXP credentials. Note you need to have an active NXP account to download the SDK. In the Search by Name field, type in 1050. Select EVKB IMXRT1050. Click Build MCU Expresso SDK on the right of the page when it becomes available. Here you can ensure the correct host, OS, toolchain, and SDK version. This demonstration is done using SDK version 2.7.0. Click the Select All icon below the Toolchain drop-down box. Click Download SDK at the bottom of the page. It may take some time for the configured SDK to build, but once complete, simply agree to the conditions and close the window and wait for the download to complete. Now that we have the SDK built and downloaded, what do we do with it? Open the MCU Expresso IDE and click on the IDE symbol. Your layout may look different than what is displayed, so you will need to locate the field that contains the installed SDKs and ensure that it is highlighted. Open the downloaded folder in your PC that contains the new SDK. Drag and drop the SDK into the field labeled Installed SDKs. Once the SDK is installed, we can select a demo to run. 
From the MCU Expresso IDE Quick Start Panel, locate Import SDK Example or Examples. Select the i.mx RT board currently being used and click Next. Scroll down the list of examples and expand the Wi-Fi examples. For our configuration, we are using the Type 1LV M.2 Evaluation Board, so we will need to select the appropriate example. Select Wicked underscore iperf underscore 43012. Click Finish. Once the project is imported, and before we can build and run the project, we will first need to update the wicked underscore iperf.c file with the correct SSID and password for the network you intend to connect. Once you've updated the credentials, we are ready to program the development board and run the example. Under Debug Your Project, select Debug. A probe discovered will pop up with each new device. Simply accept to continue. While the device is programming, locate and open your terminal interface program, selecting the correct COM port. Baud rate 115200. Data 8-bit. Parity none. Stop bits 1-bit. Flow control None. Press the Resume Debug button in the IDE to allow the outputs to be displayed over to the terminal window. To run the Wi-Fi example, we are going to run the device in Client Mode. Select C for Client Mode. The device will connect to the configured Wi-Fi network and obtain an IP address. To run this demo, we will be using an iPerf server program that may be found on the web. Open the iPerf program. Enter the IPv4 address assign the device into the server address field. In your terminal window, select 1 colon TCP server mode. In the iPerf tool, click Run. You should now see a graphical representation of data being transferred. To make wireless connectivity easy, you need the right solution partners. Murata provides wireless solutions that enable engineers to design customized Wi-Fi and Bluetooth upon NXP's powerful i.mx platforms. To get more information about how you can take advantage of wireless connectivity in your next advanced design, click on the link below.